almost two years ago on the channel, I actually ended up doing a video called How to Get Better Beginner's Guide Naruto Naruto Shinobi Striker Tips. And well, it's actually kind of one of the worst videos I've ever made. Ever. And honestly, I, I don't understand why. It could have something to do with the word okay. I, I, I don't know. You guys tell me. But anyways, guys, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a remaster to that, coming back to this topic and giving you guys some new tips, uh, adding on to the old ones and all that good stuff because, well, it is a two-year-old video and obviously some of those tips are not going to hold up nowadays and some of them I just kind of want to uh, add on to so uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it all right so for the first tip it is something very very simple and super easy to do and that is train with your mentors I don't even know how many times I get comments asking how you get some specific move and my reply is always train with so and so it is something super super easy to do and honestly once you pick up the game you have access to 20 mentors well not immediately because sometimes you have to actually go through uh, the hub world and talk to different characters do a mission for them and then you have access to a new mentor and basically what you want to do is actually want to train each mentor all the way up to five stars you do not have to go up to five golden stars just go to five stars after training up to five stars you will actually have access to all of their jutsus including their ultimate so doing this with every single base roster character is just a really easy thing to do and it doesn't take that much time so yeah just do that it'll definitely help you because you'll actually have access to more jutsus and having access to more powerful jutsus is generally a good thing now unfortunately there is a a little bit of an issue with the base roster compared to dlc characters there are actually 20 base roster characters currently in Shinobi Striker, and there are now 19 DLC characters in the game, including Kakashi. And after Season 3 completes, there will be 23 DLC characters, meaning that there will be more DLCs than there are base roster characters. So just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to suggest two DLC characters for you guys to use for each type. Just so that way you guys don't have to buy each character individually or each season pass. Just focus on the two characters. Now starting things off with the attack type, I actually decided to recommend Naruto and Killer B. My reason for this is because Naruto's moves are ridiculously strong and so are Killer B's. Well, Octopus Hug is strong. I don't know about anything else. Octopus Hug is just really, really good right now. So don't really quote me on that, but right now Naruto and Killer B are my recommendations. For the range type, I say Madra and Sasuke. Sasuke because Takamika Zuchi no Kami is currently one of the best ultimates for the range type at this current point in time. And Flame Lightning is very, very good as well. Madara, him, well, uh, Majestic Destroyer Flame. That's, that's all you really need, to be honest. It's like one of the best moves for the range type. It's, it's a go-to, okay? For the defense type, I say Obito and Zabuza because Obito's Kamui Climax and Bomb Blast Dance is very, very good. As well as Uchiha Flame Formation, which actually protects you from one hit of pretty much anything in the game. So when you have Uchiha Flame Formation active, you can actually take even an ultimate and live. Um, Zabuza because... Well, Water Prison is very good when comboed with other things such as Sand Shower. And Demon Hunter gives you Super Armor, which is very strong. It's got really good lunge as well, so it's pretty good for Capture the Flag. Also, Zabuza's ultimate is also really strong. It's a full map ultimate, so the entire map is engulfed in it. And basically, it takes away your opponent's ability to substitute, and it makes their sight very, very bad <laughs> you can't really see in that fog but uh yeah moving on to the healing type we got may and eno my reason for this is pretty simple eno has full map healing so you can be anywhere on the map and heal your entire team and may has water pillar self-explanatory there water pillar is fucking broken may also has the solid fog jutsu which is their ultimate which is a very very good uh area of effect ultimate so uh yeah those are my recommendations for the dlc characters as far as the base roster goes train with everybody get all of their jutsus all right for tip number two this is something that is also very simple but something that is forgotten very very often in the heat of the moment and this is also something that i am very guilty of forgetting about and that is pick your battles again this is something very simple but also forgotten all the time and it can be easily applied to pretty much anything in shinobi striker so let's say you do engage with a 2v1 situation 
the best thing to do in my opinion is to disengage or buy time for a teammate to come in so that way it either becomes a 3v2 or a 2v2 you always want to keep the battle as even as possible now if you are feeling very bold you can attempt it but generally you want to pick a battle that is more in your advantage you never want to be in the disadvantage and especially going into a battle you never want to go into a battle without your substitution this is something that i see a lot of the time like someone will sub and then they'll like go right back into it like no don't don't do that make sure that you have your substitution ready before engaging in a battle it's something that's just going to save your life in the long run so generally you just want to pick battles that are in your advantage you just want to be in the advantage when you engage in a fight all right for tip number three once again this is something pretty damn simple and that is learn combos now there are different types of combos that you can do in Shinobi Striker, there's a ton of different options such as there are weapon combos into uh, ninja tools, there are jutsu combos that you can learn, you can also learn dash cancels, you can learn jutsu cancels, you can learn a whole bunch of different stuff and literally all you have to do is just go into the survival exercise section of the matchmaking and scroll down to practice. Go into the practice mode and literally just learn everything you can about what you can do. Maybe you can do a couple of hits into Paralysis Seal Kunai into a Jutsu. Maybe you can reset your combo while on the ground. Maybe you can do Icicle Swallows into Shuriken Net into Rasengan Ninja Tool and completely wipe someone's health bar. Maybe you can do Lightning Shuriken Net into Majestic Destroyer Flame. Maybe you can do a couple hits in your combo into Lightning Blade. Maybe you can cancel your Lightning Blade. Who knows? Honestly, I really don't know if you can cancel Lightning Blade. Don't, don't hold me to that. But um, yeah, there's like a ton of different things that you can learn about the game. Maximize your damage output in your combos. Learn how to do your combos and all that good stuff. Honestly, just learning what you can do with your builds is just something that will help you in the long run. Overall, it's going to help you become a better player and it's going to help you deal out much more damage than you would normally just throwing out your jutsus all willy-nilly. There's a ton of different combinations that you can use in this game. Take full advantage of the build system in this game. Recently I actually discovered a build that was pretty damn strong on the healing type, and I don't even play healing type. Like, I could, like, you can literally use the stun cheese from a substitution. Guys! Like, there's so many things that you can learn from this game. Just explore all the possibilities in the practice mode. Maybe bring a friend so that we have a human opponent to test this stuff on. There's a ton of things that you can learn, and I definitely recommend going to that practice mode and learning everything you can about your build. And finally, the final tip, I saved the best for last. The final tip is just play the game. Yeah. It, this is a bit of a cop-out, and I'm pretty sure I did this in the previous video two years ago as well, but it's true. Literally just playing the game is one of the best ways to getting better at the game. Putting in a lot of time and effort into the game and putting in the time to just learn things honestly just goes a long way. Like, you're not going to get good at the game by playing maybe two hours and then just you're just magically going to be good. No, that's, no, that's not, no, 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 no. No, that's not a thing. That doesn't happen, and that doesn't happen very often in games anyway. The best way to get good at any game is to put in the time and effort, and honestly, that's that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you guys out even a little bit, and if it did, remember to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's been casual.